Hello, in this video, we're going to compute the secant of pi over six. Let's go ahead and carefully work through this solution. So we'll start by recalling a super important formula. The secant of x is equal to one divided by the cosine of x. And this formula is awesome because now all we have to do is replace x with our x value, which is pi over six. So instead of secant of x, we have secant of pi over six. And this is equal to one over the cosine of pi over six. But what is the cosine of pi over six? It's the square root of three over two. So this is equal to one over parentheses square root of three over two. It's really important to put the parentheses there. So we have one divided by this fraction. So when you divide, you multiply by the reciprocal. So this is equal to one times the reciprocal of square root of three over two. So two over the square root of three. So you end up with two over the square root of three. And that actually would be the answer. So the secant of pi over six is equal to two over the square root of three. Now you could leave your answer like this or you could rationalize it. I am just going to leave it. If you wanted to rationalize it, you would multiply by the square root of three over the square root of three. Oh, why not? Let's do it really quick. So let's do this here on the side. So basically we're multiplying it by one. And what this basically does is it gets, it gets rid of the root. So this is now two root three, gets rid of the root on the bottom. And then the square root of three times the square root of three is simply three. So that would be another acceptable answer. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world. Good luck.